Okay, take two. <laughs> Let's see how many times it takes me to get this done today. Today's Wednesday, June 19th. Um, hopefully my brain can keep thinking. Um, I ended up stopping the last video because I was like, um, and I just like stared at the camera. Anyways, um, I was talking about my kids being gone. Three of my kids are gone this week. I need to like really focus and think here. Um, so, oh, I see my kitty. Can you see my kitty right there? Morning, Bella. Oh, okay. She only wanted to say hello. Anyway, um, I had already thought about, uh, vlogging something else and, um, kind of changed my mind in the middle of the night last night. So I thought I would tell, um, about my experience last night slash this morning. Um, I got on a kick yesterday where I just really got busy cleaning. So I would have to say that recently, maybe the last year or two, I don't know what, I don't know how long it's been. I don't know. You know how time just goes and all of a sudden it's like, wow, where, when did that happen and where did time go? But um, my housekeeping is not really where even I like it to be. Um, I've just gotten lazy. I'm just not doing what I need to do. And I mean, in general I do, but and it's been bugging me and I've been getting on myself again about I need to get back to where I want my housekeeping to be and um, up to my own standard. Um, I'm sure my husband would really appreciate that too, but um, but no one puts this pressure on me but myself. I want my house to look a certain way and it hasn't been for the last couple of years and I'm just like, enough. I've got to get a grip. I've got to get a hold of this. So, um, And no better time to do it than right before vacation. I don't think I've mentioned it. Um, but I'm leaving for vacation on Saturday. So I kind of got into a mood yesterday where, well, I've been doing a little bit more extra things um, lately because I've told myself, let's get the house back in shape um, in June before you go on vacation. And then when you come home, you've really got the rest of the summer to sit back and relax. I mean, there's still, obviously I still have to clean every single day. Um, that's a given. But um, but some of these uh, big bigger projects, things that I, I just need to get a grip on, let's get it done now. And then you, it doesn't have to bug you for the rest of the summer. I don't want to wait till ideally I have much more time and opportunity in the fall because all my kids are going to be in school. So, but I don't want to wait till then. It's it's been bugging me for the longest time, a couple years actually. So time to get on it. So I got busy working last night and um one room led to another and um, i just got a lot of cleaning done i took four bags of stuff to um, salvation army at about one o'clock this morning um and i had two bags of trash two three bags of trash that i i took out um and so uh and my kids helped me some because some of it was some of their rooms and stuff so just really got busy cleaning and stuff and um I've also been battling some insomnia a little bit I guess I don't like that word for some reason but I guess that's what it is um I'm not sleeping very well which is very very unusual for me I uh um I my sleep I I'm usually a very good solid sleeper I I hit the pillow and I'm out I'm exhausted um I sleep solid you know sometimes like six to eight hours I mean I can do six hours for a couple days and then it like hits me and I need to get seven or eight hours and um, so but somewhere in there six to eight hours I'm pretty consistent I sleep solid like I go to sleep and um, I just I have no problem getting to sleep and staying asleep but recently I haven't been I want to say it's been kind of the month of June I think I'm not sure but I don't I don't know how it could have okay when I got injured and I went to the doctor he gave me prescription um, ibuprofen and he also gave me a muscle relaxer and he told me that it would you know it would make me really sleepy and stuff um and i'm not a very necessarily a very big person you know in mostly in stature <laughs> i'm a shorter person um and i do know that a lot of times um adult strength medicine can can really like knock me out or make me loopy or um just from yeah different hospital experiences and stuff i know that I'm supposed to get pediatric doses and not full adult doses because mm, I don't always handle it very well. So, but anyways, I, after I'd been injured, I was taking that more because I wanted to 
get my body. Ooh, that sun is right there. Um, I wanted to give my body um, a chance to recover internally. You know, the ibuprofen um, is great for inflammation. And there were a couple nights where I went ahead and took the muscle relaxer um, just because I really, really wanted, I mean, I don't normally have issues with sleeping, but I just kind of told myself, but really slip even deeper into sleep. And your body really needs that time to, to sleep and to repair itself. I believe that's very important. Sleep is a huge component to recovery um, on, on many levels, and I wanted to go to a very deep level. So I took the medicine um, a couple times, um, not not a lot, not even, I, mean, I don't even think I took it a handful of times, but it definitely like really knocked me out. Like um, I, I needed more than eight, I, like I almost needed like 12 hours of sleep when I would take those, um, and I would only take them at nighttime, and my doctor told me that. He said, take them at nighttime because they'll make you really sleepy. So, ooh, state trooper just turned around out the corner and turned his lights on. Okay. Anyway, um, so, um, I slept really, really, like, really good on those nights. And there was even, I remember the last time I took it, um, gosh, when was it? It might have been, like, right at the beginning of June. Because I remember telling my friend, Kristen, about it. Like, I took it, I slept, like, eight hours. I got up, I went and taught uh, my exercise class, I don't even think I was awake. I mean, I was, obviously. I got there, but I was just not even with it. And there was a couple times when I taught my class and I'm like, did I just fall asleep? Because my class is, it's a yoga Pilates mix, so we'd be sitting there doing a stretch or whatever, and when you're really tired and you're teaching a, when you're teaching yoga and you're stretching and you're holding it, and all of a sudden I'd be like, did I just fall asleep? I don't think I did, though. Anyway, talking, rambling. Um, but I was exhausted at my class, and I got through it. I barely got home. I mean, just driving down the street um, was hard for me to stay awake. I came home, um, I slept a few more hours, and then I had to get up and take Angel somewhere. So I took her, dropped her off, Angel's my oldest, um, and then came back and slept like three more hours. It must have been when school was still in, because I remember, I remember Carmen, I remember having that mom, mom day, that mom moment where, um, where I turned on the TV and Carmen watched TV all morning while I slept. So, I mean, it like really, really knocks me out. And some days it was taking me even into the next day where I was getting a ton of sleep. So, um, getting back to my point, that took me two minute detour. Um, I don't know if, I mean, I don't want to say I got like dependent on that, but I don't, I don't know if that's connected to the fact that since then-ish, I just haven't been sleeping very good. I just, um, my, at nighttime, um, it can be 11 o'clock or midnight and I'd be like, I'm awake. I just, you know, normally I'm just like, okay, I'm tired, good night, conk. But no, I would just be like, mm, my mind says I should be asleep, but I'm not. Or I would go to bed and I would just kind of toss and turn. Um, or if once I was in bed, um, for an hour or two, sometimes I really just couldn't really, get, I would wake up. I've had more than one time where, I mean, it just happened two nights ago that I woke up. I don't actually remember waking up. This is what's it's a little funny, scary, because it's at least the second very specific time that I can remember. I don't remember actually getting up, but I remember finding myself out of my bed. Usually it's in the dining room. Last night, or two nights ago, the only thing I remember, I don't remember getting out of bed, I don't remember doing anything else, but what I do remember is that I looked out the window. I'm not sure why, but I looked out my bedroom window. And and then that's when I remember turning and seeing that it was only 3.30 in the morning. So something woke me up. Something got me up out of bed. Something got me to walk over the window. I looked out the window. I don't know what I was looking at. I, I remember not seeing anything. And then realizing, oh, it's only 3.30. I, you know, why am I up? So I, I just go back to bed. But I've had other instances too where I'm like in the middle of the dining room. And because I'm, I'm an early morning person, it's not unusual to have those, I'm so tired, I don't want to be up. I'm just standing there trying to wake up. Um, 
and I wonder if that's what I did maybe was thinking I needed to be up and so I'm, I get up. I don't remember getting up, though. That's what's weird. I don't, I don't remember getting up. But I just find myself, um, it's like, and then I look, and I'm like, it's 1.30. Why am I up? Why, why, why do I think I need to be up? Like, my alarm didn't wake me up. Why, you know? It's just weird. I'm just not sleeping well. So, um, I've been getting less sleep just because... I don't, I'm not going. I'm not going to bed. I'm not really getting to sleep till like eleven o'clock almost every single night. Now I have the flexibility most mornings to sleep a little bit later if I want to, but um, but I'm just like mm, I don't know. I'm just not getting very much sleep. So last night, in addition to cleaning, I mean cleaning was keeping me awake, but still, usually at some point I completely hit the wall, and. I actually never really did. I finally gave up and went to bed at 4 o'clock this morning. Um, but I was just like this. I was like, I know my body's tired. I've had three hours of sleep. I had to get back up right before 7 to take Angel to the school. I know my, my body. I know my body's tired, but I don't know. You know how you there's different levels of tiredness that you know your body feels and stuff? My body should be a lot more tired than what it is right now. In fact, I, although I have had a cup and a half a coffee. I'm sure that's helped. But even then, sometimes coffee can't even help how tired you are. But, um, I don't know. I'm not sleeping good. Anyway, my original point that I started, um, 11 and a half minutes ago is that, um, so I, I kind of have a little bit of a day, not completely. I've got some open time, but, um, I got to, I got to was like, well, I'm going to need to run today. Um, I can maybe take a nap in the afternoon and I'm actually trying not to run when I'm really, really tired, when my body is really tired because I believe part of my recovery process also includes sleep and if I don't get very good sleep, I don't let myself run very much. Like, I won't let myself go run 10 miles if I've only had five hours of sleep. My body needs more sleep and running when it's tired is not good for it. I know that I'm more susceptible right now to being, um, to re-injuring myself, whatever. So I, I have been, um, being, I have been enforcing myself to get more sleep, um, trying to get more sleep. It's not always the most restful sleep, but trying to get more sleep, um, to go along with my running. I don't know if that just made sense, but, um, so I'm like, I'm going to have to run at some point today, right? You know, I might be rested up by later this afternoon. I might have a chance to get a good afternoon nap in there's that possibility um but and you know I just posted mostly on Instagram and Facebook so if you're not like a personal friend on there you might not have seen it but um I posted a picture the other day that I ran at 11 o'clock in the morning and it's not really what I prefer to do um that just happened to be be how my day went that day but also I know that I need to do that because I'm training for my ultra which is in August in August in Illinois or in the Midwest um, it's not it's not cool that's for sure um, I have to get these midday runs and I have to get acclimated to the heat if I want to run well at Hot the Moon so um, so that's great that's fine but there are some days where I'm just honestly like I don't want to run in the heat though um, so I decided it 2 30 this morning I was like I'm just, I should just go get my run done now I mean it's it's the next day technically I'm well past midnight I'm on to the calendar day of Wednesday June 19th and so um and I didn't want to put it off until tonight tonight I mean I, I have had times in fact Sunday was the first time in quite a long time that it was like actually it wasn't too late it was like nine o'clock at night where I put on my running clothes I'm like okay haven't ran yet I'm gonna go run and, uh, and usually on those days, um, I keep it short, like two or three miles and stuff. So, um, like eyeing my neighbors, what are they doing? Um, so I was actually, I was going to go run. I wanted to get my run done. I knew that I was not, ha I ha will not have had a good night of sleep. So I knew I needed to keep it short. That meant I could keep it close to the house. And then, um, quite honestly, I was too lazy to even change my clothes. I mean, I put a good sports bra on. That's very important. Um, even though I don't think a single person saw me when I was at running. It's possible somebody might have seen me and I just didn't notice them. But um, 
So I headed out the door at 2.30 this morning to get my run in for the day. And um, it felt weird. I did not listen to any music. Um, when it's dark out, I never use headphones when it's dark out. Never. Um, I have an iPod Touch and it plays music where, you, I mean, the speaker, there's a little speaker built into it if you don't, I'm not as familiar with an iPod Touch. So uh, often if it's dark and I'm running, I will just play my iPod and I can usually just hear the music. But since it was, you know, literally the middle of the night, I decided not to even play any music at all. Um, the temperature had really, really cooled down. Um, I had been so busy cleaning earlier that I was really kind of sweaty and really nasty gross. Probably could have counted that as a workout as, as much as I sweated cleaning today, yesterday, this morning. So, um, I went and got my workout done. It's not, um, I don't normally recommend that, but I did it and I'm done running for the day. So now I can, well, I need to go in and clean carpets. And other than that, I've just got um, things to get done. Got to get into vacation in three days. Yay! So, I'm almost tempted to, like, redo my video because I'm, sometimes I make a video and then I'm like, hmm, I don't like how that went. I don't, mm, I don't know. I'd make a good actress because I'd be like, take 10, take 15. But, no, um, the fact that it's taken me 16 and a half minutes, like, I am not redoing that much video. Although, in theory, I always tell myself, just do it again, and you'll say it better, and you'll make it shorter. <laughs> I'm just a talker. So, I'll let you go, because you're like, shut up, woman. Have a great day. Get some sleep. I actually feel great. I'm hoping to make it through the whole entire day, and then I can just, like, conk out. Um, at a good decent time tonight and get good sleep. Although I have to teach in the morning, so sleeping in tomorrow is not an option. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.